Hey, what's up everyone? Master Tim Scott here with XL Taekwondo and Defense Systems. And today we are talking about everyone how to accept no. Now, uh, everyone, I've been in and out of you know uh, the elementary schools for about 20 years now in the martial arts business, helping them teach you know school assemblies, PE classes, uh, doing self-defense, doing bully awareness, everything. And since COVID, all right, this is one thing that has absolutely uh, been on the rise in schools, unfortunately, and that is kids don't know how to accept the word no or being told no or not getting what they want. And it's almost coming across as a feeling of entitlement, but at the same time, we know our kids aren't necessarily entitled. They just haven't really been trained that and they haven't been actively training in those things. So everyone, you see as parents and as coaches and as teachers, instructors, we need to teach this next generation how to accept when we don't get what we want or how to accept when we are told no, well then what? Right? You see, they just don't know where to go. They don't know how to internalize that. So everyone, when we teach our kids, we need to start teaching them, hey, I know this is no. I know I'm telling you no and you're not getting what you want. But for example, that doesn't mean no forever. It just means that we have to earn our way to that yes, possibly, that's the situation. Or I am telling you no because I'm uh, a concern for your safety and here's the reason why. You see, once they start training on, this is why I'm being told no, and this is what's gonna happen if I didn't get told no, then guess what? Now there's bad consequences and then they don't start just uh, training in that positive uh, way of, hey, look, I'm not always gonna get told yes and I do have to accept that. I do have to accept it graciously and I even have to be happy for other people when they get told yes and I get told no. You see, when we talk about those things, for example, at Excel Taekwondo here, when we have our graduations come up, you have to be ready with three, three things, excuse me, your attitude, your attendance, and your ability, all right? And so once you're ready with those three things, then we can move on, right? But if they're not ready, we have to tell kids no all the time. You're not ready to move on to the next belt level. You're not ready to move on to this next uh, advanced level just because of X, Y, Z. And when we tell them that, we teach them first, how do we accept if we get told no or we don't get uh, the next level right away when we wanted it? When we actively train and teach that and encourage others and uh, you know walk, side by side with others, all right, being told yes, being told no, everything in between. Now, your, our kids, our next generation are willing to accept that graciously and with a champion's mindset. All right, everyone, we'll see you later.